In The Glass Menagerie, Tom Wingfield describes stories in the magazine his mother sells subscriptions to as the serialized sublimations of ladies of letters who think in terms of delicate cup-like cup -like breast, slim tapering waist, rich creamy thighs, eyes like wood smoke in autumn. I think of the novel that was adapted as the movie and the musical The Bridges of Madison County as a more recent, perhaps slightly earthier version of one of those stories. It promises dangerous romantic thrills and a good cry. Francesca Johnson grew up in Italy during the Second World War. She met her husband when he was a GI in Italy, a nice guy. Maybe not her ideal romance, but he could get her out of a country suffering the ruins of war. Now, a few years later, she has a home on Bud Johnson's farm in Iowa, a teenage son, Michael, and a younger daughter, Carolyn. Carolyn has a prized steer that she's raised and that she and her brother and father are taking to the 4-H competition in Indianapolis for three days. Francesca chooses to stay at home. Robert Kincaid appears at the door. He's a photographer for National Geographic who has come to do a story on the seven covered bridges of Madison County. He's shot six of them but can't find the seventh and stops by the Johnson's farm to ask for directions. Francesca agrees to show him the way, watches him shoot the bridge, and finds him attractive. When he takes her back home, she invites him to have tea and then to have dinner. The next day, she goes to town and buys a new dress, then goes to the bridge to find Robert. She again invites him home to dinner. He washes up, she puts on the new dress, they drink brandy, they have dinner, and one thing leads to another, and then to another, and then not to another. Sharon Cotner, who directed the recent production at the Alpha Players of Florissant, inventively arranged the set she designed so that scenes could be quickly and unobtrusively set, with the initial set of the Johnson kitchen moved into place while Francesca sang her opening song, To Build a Home. Stephanie Merritt gave depth to Francesco's delight and dilemma. Cole Gutman's Robert was entranced and considerate and found the meaning in his songs. Eric Garland made Ben Johnson the good, uncomplicated husband. Cody Cole was a rebellious teen, and Tori Stukas, his excitable sister. Pamela Geppert and Jeff Pruitt were the concerned neighbors. I'd forgotten what a good voice Geppert has. Chelsea Johnson had a touching number and a flashback as Robert's ex-wife. The large cast had no weak spots, and Tim Clark's orchestra gave attractive support. Becky Thorne was the vocal director. Jeff Pruitt designed the evocative lighting. Barbara Langa, the costumes. Eric Wendland, the sound. Alicia Brooks, the properties. Marcia Norman's book is shrewdly constructed. I like Jason Robert Brown's score better than some of his others, but despite Alpha's good work, The Bridges of Madison County will never be one of my favorite musicals. Nor mine, but I agree with you that the play was very well done by Alpha. Yeah, let's hear some of the music. <laughs> 